five people, the first thing you have to do, you have to have the computer recognize this. Let's see if I can focus it. Yeah, to recognize this using a USB interface. So it can talk to it and therefore talk to the actual OSD which is here, is sitting here on my desk, okay? <coughs> so in order to do that, uh, remember this is a prolific knockout chip. What does it mean that the Chinese guy that made this, manufactured this, uh, made a knockout, a copy of this chip. So the guy from Prolific put like uh, some kind of like uh, 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 guard on the, on the actual software on the actual drive of the of the of the chip. So if it is a knockout or if it is a copy of a prolific chip, it will not work. So what you have to do, you plug it in like that. Let's see if I can put it on focus for you. You see, it's powered up and. Um, you go on Google, open a new window, and say USB to TTL uh, driver uh, not working or error 10. Uh, you come to prolific USB to serial fix official solution to code 10 error that's in total car diagnostic and uh, this is a car thing apparently is the same thing that uh, you get on the car uh, in order to fix it you have to download the correct driver now I have Windows 10 and therefore I will download a 64-bit fix for it and it says download and save the PL20364 bit installer exact by clicking here and you click on it and it will download it I download it here on my desk once you've done it you just double click on it and it will install the drivers which are necessary to have this talk to your computer as a matter of fact, I did so, and I can show you in my uh, control panel, device and printers, here they are. Here we go, prolific USB to serial port COM5. So that's now it's talking to it, and that's how it goes. So once you got the, G, the USB interface here working and talking to the computer, you plug in the USB interface to your OSD board by using a GPS plug. This is the GPS plug, as you can see. And um, in the back, it says TX, RX, 5 volt, and GND for ground. Okay? And the correspondent connections are on here and here it will say they're a bit bigger so you can see it says 3v3 forget it disregard it txd rxd which is tx rx on here gnd is ground here and 5 volt 5 volt is here the last one so you just have to be careful make sure you connect the right connections to each one of them otherwise you can blow the board up and once you've done that you will you connect the whole board and it will power up uh, you fire the Reigns baby QEI mm, let's see if I can where do you get the QEI? The, the guy, the graphic user interface. 
uh, you get it from the RENZBB RENZBB OSD official site that's the guy who actually made it and he produced it so uh, in the area of downloads which is down here you click on downloads number 10 it will take you here to down downloads and you have the the PC program to emulate and various command on the OSD uh, and all the different uh, drivers you can download for the different connections you got uh, the prolific here will not work with the with the one you got unless you do because it's a Chinese knockout will work with a prop with a original prolific one but then you got the manual which is kind of good and you get the RNZB PC GUI 2176 zip you download that and you download it to your you open it into your desktop and there you go you get this icon and you fire the GUI, the GUI. so right now the computer is not talking to the interface because it says you must first confirm your connection to your OSD board do you wish to test your connection now and you say yes and it will tell you to go on the port our port in this case is port 5 is already selected so you press connect and it says connected once, it's, once it says connected you can either carry on and follow these instructions and uh, get the the programming instruction and the testing instruction for the whole thing and fake out uh, some some fake GPS for it and everything or you can just like skip it and go directly to the UAI and this is how your OSD is gonna look like um, I hope you can see it maybe maybe a bit bigger but I know it's a bit difficult with this camera at this point of time there you go and um, here you can change and move all the value you see and uh, change them if you want the altitude here in this corner you can put it down here or if you want it uh, if you want uh, the this is some kind of like uh, attitude or uh, an actual uh, value that tells you if you're raising or going down this is your horizon this is your longitude and latitude coordinates this is how many uh, satellites huh? all this can be changed added made visible or invisible through this uh, menu so you can have the heading GPS and all this kind of stuff uh, I'll leave you up to like find out the way it works through the instruction and everything but once you're done you just press file here and save the beam file and it will save it to the to the OSD and uh, it will it will be on your screen uh, once you fly and that's how it goes and that's how you do it uh, save your changes? No, because I don't want to save. I already have my GUI working, so that's how it is. Next video is going to be how to mount it on the plane. All right, first of all, sorry for this long video, but that's how it is. If you want to get all the steps on how to get this OSD working, the RMZB knockout, <laughs> poor man OSD working, that's what you have to get. Uh, subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you want to, and uh, Blue sky to everybody.